I got the ending right for once. I just played that like five times and you didn't know it. Alright. Okay. Every bass player needs something awesome to close, not close, to open with when they first put a, ba a bass on their lap or however they hold a bass. Maybe you hold it behind you like a like SRV or something. But um, And when I was 14, I wrote a little ditty, a little jam. And I hope you don't go and steal this because I never copyrighted it. So maybe this is my, in essence, copywriting of it because I'm recording it and putting it online. I don't know. Who knows? Don't steal this. But... Wait. Wait. Yeah. You know, you never quite get it right, and that's that's the the thing about the bass. At least for me, um, I'm never quite satisfied, as Solomon says in chapter two of Ecclesiastes: "Eyes that filled with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing." Solomon, in all of his glory, which even Jesus said was like amazing in creation, actually was better than the glory that Solomon had. At least the lilies of the field were dressed better than, better than he. Um, you know, even he admitted in Ecclesiastes, he's like, dude. Um, I'm the smartest guy that's ever going to live, and I can't even do all the things that I wish I could do. Like, he said this in Ecclesiastes, and you should read it, because it's a great thing. And read the Bible in general, so. Uh, but yeah, I think you should learn some cool stuff on the bass, and... Oh, oh. <laughs> I just put a bass on my cat. Go see my cat. Okay, that's her walking away. Anyways, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a video right now and say... Thing that I wrote notes for because I never remember. Okay, first of all, where have I been? I've been in college. Uh, actually, before that, I was, I guess, at home and un unemployed, but I uh, don't like to talk about that. Uh, actually, I got a little disenchanted with music. Um, there's a lot of drama, like entitled Christians out there that are like, you're stupid, send. And it just, it really <laughs> brought me down. And I don't know, even at like home, my home church, and I, I just wasn't. I didn't like the the culture of worship um, wasn't a worshipful culture if that makes sense that I was experiencing so I just kind of got down on music and and said I'm not gonna do a video until like I really feel like God is is in it you know and I didn't feel like I was supposed to be doing video all all summer actually instead what I did was I started studying Ecclesiastes you just turned me cold Ecclesiastes and uh, I've been doing that since like August till now and I'm about to start studying Luke or I've already, I've already started studying it and uh, I've been making Bible videos in my free time and uh, doing college as well. Bet Frank. I have a crush on Bet Frank and you would not know that if I didn't tell you that but I'm telling you that so you can know more about me. She is I guess a supermodel. I watch a lot of Bravo like The Real Housewives. I know it's a stupid show but it's my guilty pleasure and there's a store called White House Black Market, and she is like the cover girl of their commercial on TV. And I always see it with my mom because I live at home. I'm cool. I live at home. And I'm like, dude, that girl's cute. And she's like, really, Ryan? Like, she's out of your league. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, a guy's got to have, like, that girl that he wants to go after. You know, she's probably not a Christian. I wish I could just, like, have, like, the gift of, like, bestowing you know, the conviction of the Holy Spirit on someone and be like, you need to come to Christ. And Date me. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. Anyways, okay, moving on. Teeth. Just got my teeth uh, cleaned and they're healthy. I need to floss more though, so I bought um, flossers. Uh, soup. My Uma. That's German for Grandma, because I'm very German. Uh, there is a family secret family recipe for German chicken noodle soup, and it takes like I'm not joking. You, I heard like from my aunt, my tante. That is eight hours to make, and hopefully I'm gonna just hang out with her this weekend, and we're gonna make some soup or play chess, do whatever. I don't know. Base. I'm going to make videos soon. Videos, plural, yes, you heard that, right? Um, and my cat wants out of the room, but I'm not going to let her out because I'm making a video right now. Um, I have been listening to a lot of music that you guys uh, asked for requests. I did not forget you guys. Um, but I, <laughs> I ended up doing the thing I do usually, which is 
Despite all the requests, I went and tried to find the best music out there, whether or not you guys requested it, and I think that music is the new Jesus Culture album. Uh, I already forgot what it's called. It's called Awakening Live from Chicago, and um, it's a new album, and the first track on it is called Awaken Me. <laughs> Awakening, Awaken Me, I know, they're so creative. Speaking of creative, their lyrics on that song, I, I've... I only listened to it for like an hour straight, and I know that sounds like a long time, but like, I have this power where I can like phase out and just listen to the music, and, but uh, every now and then I would be like listening to lyrics as well, and um, uh, not paying attention to the music, and the lyrics are kind of, kind of weak on that song, but I think I'm still going to play it because I think it's a powerful song, um, lyrics so, I don't know, I, I maybe I need to develop more as a, believer as a little Christ as they would call them and if you get that you're awesome you're probably a pastor if you get that joke because uh, okay I'll, ex I'll explain it I'll, I'll break the Bill O'Reilly rule you never explain the, the the meaning of the secret word um, little Christ is what Christian literally means little Christ Christian I guess that means Ian the name Ian means little who knows I'm just guessing I'm pining right now I'm wasting time actually uh, pray for me, guys. Um, I am finishing college, like I said. I think I said that. Actually, this is my second last week. Next week is my last week. And I'm quite sad that it is Thursday the 8th right now because I started making this on Wednesday the 7th. And yes, I'm a perfectionist and I've been working on this video for much longer than it should take. Um, pray for me. Jesus Culture Awaken Me. Send me your video, or uh, I mean, not video, uh, song requests. Um, just started a new Twitter account. We'll see how I can stay up with keeping on it. Um, it is called Pray for Ryan <laughs> because seriously, I want to nail that down as much as possible. Like, if you remember only one thing, actually, if you only remember one thing, remember to come to Christ as your Lord and Savior, and then get into the Bible, find Christian believers in your area, go to a good church, reach the world for Christ, aim to please God with your life. But if you remember something besides all that unnecessary stuff, Pray for me. Um, I uh, have, obviously, we all have struggles. I have struggles, too. And uh, I know, it's surprising. <laughs> don't I look like, just like the emblem of perfect? I I don't know. Like, I just, I look so perfect right now. Like, my hair, my Supercuts haircut, you know? Um, I know, but uh, I, I do have struggles, despite what you think. And um, pray for me with those, those unspoken issues of my life. Um, ask not ask, tell, tell me what your prayer requests are, and then ask God to grant me all kinds of nice stuff, you know, that you would pray for me, and maybe I'll get specific later, but not now. Um, oh, another guilty pleasure, so, like, I've got a crush on Bet Frank, B-E-T, or B-E-T-T-E-F-R-A-N-K-E, -E -E. I don't know, I like, I like visually, visually, um, putting things out there, like, spelling, uh, one of my other guilty pleasures is the video game Skyrim, uh, Elder Scrolls Part 5 or something, I don't know. I'm too poor to own a video game system, so what I've done instead, I've looked up a video of this guy named TTB, like the something something, I don't know what his name is. He's from Germany, and he plays this game and posts videos of it on YouTube. <laughs> and I, I just went, I just literally in the past couple of days got through like all 23 episodes that he's posted since like November and like even up to the video he posted today and I'm like I still want more. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I, I like watching people play video games because I can't own them because I'm too poor. See, you know, in my, in my other videos when I asked for like you know, the occasional donation, I, I'm not joking, like, I know I'm wearing nice headphones and I'm doing this on a Mac, and I have a very nice retro base, but that's all from savings, uh, from working five years at a job, which I no longer have, which means I need to conserve money, because I have bills to pay, and um, life happens, so I don't want to be unprepared, and just spend money on, like, nice stuff that I don't really need. Anyways, um, I've rambled on a whole lot, so um, 
send me your comments, uh, like this video, favorite it, I know it's a weird video to favorite, but uh, show me some love, show me some support. Um, I would love to Skype or stick in with you in the future. And watch my videos, I've got so many different channels. Um, my base videos and my upcoming future Bible videos, I've got like five Bible videos in the past I've already done, I'm going to do some more, maybe not on YouTube too, just to spread the, the, um, the videos far and wide so that if YouTube ever goes down, which I know, I'm, I'm that kind of person, I think about stuff like this, that uh, there will be another place you can go to find these resources. Alright, well, um, thank you guys, pray for me, um, I'll pray for you, and until next time, um, seep, that is Spanish slang for yes, a little fun fact for you, alright, thank you guys.